Uh, well, a little bit more about that, perhaps. Uh, you you are, like you said, a, a champion for for opera in Southeast Asia, and you 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 travel and try to spread the love of, of opera. How would you rate um, the opera scene here uh, and in other countries in Southeast Asia? And how can we perhaps foster a greater love for classical uh, opera? Well, you know, um, the Western opera is uh, above all known in Asia, in uh, Japan, mm -hmm. Korea, mm -hmm. and China. For us in the Southeastern Asia country, I think the Philippines uh, have always been at the, uh, the top of uh, whatever could be modern. Uh, I remember when I studied the story of the first visit of my great-grandfather, King Norodom I, in 1872. When he got back to Cambodia, he brought back some Philippine musicians so that the first modern a military ban was created in Cambodia thanks to Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So it, it is very nice for me to, to be back to the Philippines in a way because it's a country which is in our heart uh, for us Cambodians to begin a new adventure on the music and so I think that the musical scene in Philippines is the most advanced of all Southeast Asia country uh, about opera and when we arrived to the cultural center of the Philippines which is a, such a nice organization we met with so many competent people like uh, our executive producer for instance Nestor Jardin mm. who just uh, believed that we were doing such a great job and he gave us all the means to do so so I would really, I really want to thank Ness Jardin and all the staff at the CCP they are all extraordinary people it's fantastic to hear that it's very very heartening to hear that uh,